Hey guys, welcome to day 138 of my carnivore journey. Guys, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're having a great journey. Um, but in any case, wanted to touch base with you guys real quick, give you my daily vlog, my daily update, like I always do. And tonight I had bacon and eggs. So again, I had eggs for the second night in a row, six of them. Um, but I also had bacon. <laughs> so, but tonight I actually had a pound of bacon or, you know, it's like a package of bacon, right? I, I think it's a pound, right? Just like a regular, it was like Carolina pride, thick cut, uh, zero sugar bacon. And, um, it was 10 pieces all together and I baked it up in the oven, got it to the perfect level I wanted. It was like perfectly cooked tonight. Um, just a little crispy, not, not overly crispy, but just the right amount of crispiness, just really good. Um, and of course, six eggs made with uh, three tablespoons of butter at the end of it with some salt, just like I did the night before, except like I said, this time I added like a pound of bacon, but for some reason the bacon was going down. I just started out with like three pieces, but then I had the rest of it <laughs> like right there with me and I just kept eating more bacon along with my eggs. And I hadn't had bacon in a while, as you guys probably may have noticed. Um, I just haven't really been having bacon. So it just was good to have some bacon and eggs and some butter. So that's it, guys. Pretty simple. Um, today, yesterday, I had nothing really but eggs, a little bit of meat for lunch. Oh, today's lunch was hot dogs, two beef hot dogs. So again, just like the day before, a little bit of beef. Um, I think I had a hamburger dogs yesterday, but then like today was the beef hot dogs. And, um, but like I had, you know, the eggs mostly last night and I wasn't real hungry. And today I will say my back felt a little more stiff and I was a little more tired today. Um, but when I needed the energy, like I said, it's there. I still felt solid with my stomach felt so, you know, solid all around. I didn't, you know, have to use the restroom today. I don't feel like I'm going to have to use it today. So maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, who knows? Um, I do have my coffee. I didn't have it earlier. I just, of course, the, my normal is I have it after dinner. It's always been sort of like a dessert for me. Again, I'm waiting until I get out of heavy cream and then I may stop coffee. I don't know. I'm, I'm still on the fence. I'm still on the fence because I still see like Dr. Barry have coffee, you know, some people are like, no, some people, and, and the experts are really kind of like 50, 50 on all your like experts on the carnivore diet. And it's, it literally is like a 50, 50 split on whether or not coffee is like, eh, I, I don't know. Um, but I still, I guess the purists would be like, oh, you need to get rid of it. And then the, the dirty ones. Uh, and I've always been a little dirty. <laughs> so, but in any case, guys, um, a real short update today. I've got my league Civil War um, match tonight. Um, it's the one that I showed you guys. Uh, it's a computer game, but it's a it's like a realism type thing. And we have our league play tonight. It's getting ready to start here in a few minutes. Um, so I've got to get in there for roll call. We got to get a head count. I had gotten my promotion last week, so I've got to get in there and show them what I what I got. Uh, as far as anything else goes, again, you guys pretty much know I've I've just got good things coming your way. Guys, be patient. Hang in there. Welcome to the new people. So if you're new to this channel, welcome so, so much. I really appreciate all you guys. And I just also wanted to pass along the message <clears throat> that, um, guys, if you're new here or even people that maybe I just need to remind you, if you struggle and you have problems with your carnivore journey, you know, let somebody know, let us know, talk to us, um, because it, I can help you the best I can. I can help guide you. And also like, if you're, let's say, like, I know one of the, you know, one of you was talking about you're on day five and you're, you really wasn't hungry, but your stomach was hurting and you were hoping it was going away. Look, this diet is very, very good at, 
satisfying you with any hunger, things like that, any aches and pains, you have to remember those first couple weeks, your gut biome is changing. You're switching fuels. Your body's been used to running off of dirty carb and sugar and, and, and artificial fuels. Now you're switching over to a more um, proper human diet, you know, fuel, meat, and the things that we were meant to eat as a species. You know, it's the same thing with rabbits. When they took rabbits and experimented by giving them different, you know, things that weren't in their diet, they were developing cancer and things like that. Well, what do you expect when you rabbits were meant to eat grass and whatever, you know what I mean? But when you start feeding animals experimental foods to see what happens to do lab testing and they have problems, that's why humans have problems because all of these foods, especially in the modern era, have been you know, processed and grown and hybrid and, and bastardized and all these things. This is not natural. We were meant to go and kill and eat our foods, meat and salt and water. That's like the real three essentials of a human being, meat, salt, and water. And you get all your nutrients from all of it. Now, in today's society, yes, you might need a little bit more like eggs, bacon, maybe sometimes, but salt, like I said, eggs, meat, those two right there will help you out a lot because again, it's, it really depends on the meat, how it's raised. And yes, somebody also brought up um, to eat the, uh, the, the special eggs. Look, I do my best. Okay. I'm not made of money. I, I try to represent the average person on this channel by, I, I'm not made of money. And especially now in today's economy. Oh my God. Um, it's so expensive. I literally bought three things for $24 today. It's so ridiculous. Um, things that, you know, in my opinion, would have cost maybe six or seven bucks normally. Good Lord. Anyways, um, but my point is that, look, if I can have grass-fed, grass-finished beef, sometimes I get it. So a lot of times I have to get just like the cellophane-wrapped 80-20 Chuck or 7327 if I can, if I can find it. Um, you know, I always try to get the fattier ones if I can. And for those of you that don't know, I've actually run into a few people. I'm going to cover this real quick. When you go to the store and you look at ground beef and it says 80 20, the 20 is like the fat content, right? So the higher that number, the more fat. The lower the big number is, the more. Uh, the more fat, so to speak, or the higher the number, the more lean if you want. So if you go and you're like, hey, I found a 95.5, well, first of all, you're probably going to be paying more because lean meat, they try to sell you, they, they try to make it more expensive thinking that, oh, yeah, we're going to market this leaner meat to people. You know, that's their that's their way of, of getting around the fat content and keeping you satisfied, right? But that 95 is lean, and that 5% fat. So you want, and I just wanted to teach some of you guys that because I've been running some people here lately. Like, I think I ran into three people in the last week, just like out in normal life, face-to-face -face life. And like, they were asking me questions about the carnivore diet because we got talking about stuff. And I told them that I, I do like 73-27 or 80-20 ground chuck. They're like, what is, what is, what do the numbers mean? So I was really surprised. And these were like older people. So I just thought I'd clarify that for some, for some of you that may not know and you're watching this, when you go to the store, do not get anything less than 20%. Don't get 15, don't get 10 or 5. 20 is the minimum. Like I eat a lot of 80 20 because that's pretty common. But if you can get a, a one store does 75 25, another store does 73 27, just depends on the split. But if you can get anything, you know, higher than 20%, do that. You know, that's just going to help you out. But anyways, guys, just remember, hang in there. Don't stress. For those new people doing this, remember, those first few weeks, your your gut, your biome is going to be going through all those changes. Um, but also feel free to share what you're eating on a daily basis um, and maybe how you're feeling. You know, share some details if you want. If you're not comfortable putting those in public, again, there is an email you can reach me down below. 
Um, it's, it's my everything paranormal show email. Hit me up down below and email me and, and you can privately let me know some information or whatever, whatever you feel comfortable with. I'm just here to help guys. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Day 139. Bye guys.